Good afternoon, I'm Mike Powers. Four years after his capture in Juarez, Mexico, Michael Astorga is now on trial for the murder of a Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputy during a late night traffic stop in 2006. News 13's Maria Medina was in the courtroom today where jury selection is finally underway. Maria? And Mike, already a slight victory for prosecutors who say they can show jurors Michael Astorga had a motive for killing Deputy James McGrain. The judge ruled this morning that he would allow prosecutors to tell jurors about an arrest warrant issued for Astorga just a few months before he's accused of killing McGrain on a Tejeras Highway. That warrant was for the murder of Candido Martinez. But the judge also ruled prosecutors cannot say what the warrant was for in order to avoid prejudice. The state plans to use the warrant as evidence to show Astorga knew about it was hiding from law enforcement and ultimately killed McGrain to avoid capture. Now, this morning, prosecutors also asked the judge to bar the defense from bringing up accusations. BCSO investigators bullied witnesses to get them to talk about where Astorga fled to after McGrain's murder. Um, things such as, uh, as, as being threatened uh, uh, with the death penalty, uh, for one, uh, second, being in prison for life. Again, no evidence was found that related to the homicide, Your Honor. Uh, again, this is just to say, uh, just to kind of throw mud on the sheriff's department. And the judge ruled that he'll decide on whether to bar that type of testimony one by one as each witness takes a stand. And also, again, Mike, just to show you how high profile a case this is, to get inside district court, you have to go through metal detectors and security already. To get inside the courtroom for the Astorga trial, you have to go through another set of metal detectors and security. Back to you. Okay, Maria, obviously a lot of interest in this case. Thank you for that update. Opening statements are expected later this week. If Astorga is convicted, he could face the death penalty. And be sure to stay with KRQE News 13 and KRQE.com for the latest from the courtroom. We'll have continuing coverage throughout the trial in every newscast.